Amidst the continuous surge in the number of coronavirus cases in Nigeria, the COVID-19 survivors in the key state on Thursday embarked on a short walk to remind the people that the pandemic is real. The walk, which was organized by the State Ministry of Health and Human Services, lasted for about one hour and it started off from Fajui Park through Governor's Office to Kesha Market and then back to the Government House. The participants were seen carrying placards with different descriptions and distributing flyers while walking to sensitize the public that they need to observe all the COVID-19 precautions. The senior special assistant to the state governor on public health, Dr. Jim Lass of Michigan, who led the work, said the major reason for the exercise is to create awareness among Ekiti residents. He advised them to visit the various designated health centers to take the COVID-19 vaccine. This vaccine will not affect you negatively in any way. This vaccine will boost your immune system so that you can be able to fight any infection that comes to your body, especially the COVID-19 vaccine uh, virus itself. We have had different strains of this virus. We have had Delta variant, and now we are having Omicron variant, and everybody is afraid. We don't want you to be afraid. We just want you to take precaution. If you want to feel you should all come out and take your vaccine. And somebody had made a, made a request that we should bring vaccine to the market that you will take it. Will you take it? Somebody in COVID-19 survivors, Ogundele Johnson and Katrina Anthony, explained that the rationale behind the work is to further sensitize the public about the importance of coming out MS and take the vaccine. Somebody that is having the realizing fever always at the age of 50, they should test him. Unfortunately, the test pain is said that I have. COVID-19 is free, so everybody should go and take the injection. I got it when I contacted this particular uh, disease. I wasn't shocked, but what really baffled me most was, was a week to my wedding. I was really depressed because I was like, how will I going to run up and then going from one place to another for the preparation of my wedding? So but I just thank God Almighty. So people should not just give up. They should not lose hope. Because this passing for In another development, the ministry, with the support of the World Health Organization, WHO, at Halle on Wednesday, organized a one-day workshop on COVID-19 for media practitioners in the state to curb the continuous spread of the pandemic. Declaring the workshop open, Dr. Gunshakin, on behalf of the Commissioner for Health in the state, said it is the responsibility of the media to increase awareness on how to prevent and control further spread of the pandemic. We are here today to kind of you know, we reinstate uh, our commitment to fighting COVID in our dear state and especially, especially putting a searchlight on the role of the media in the, in the pandemic. Corroborating his view was the representative of WHO, Dr. Ayomide Aibinomo. As the media persons that are here, we want you to please uh, help us to sensitize the, uh, the community. Our people educate them on number one, ensuring that everyone is vaccinated. One of the event facilitators, Lala Olubuntoye, spoke on the objectives of the workshop. Media is an important stakeholder in this, on this issue. So we want to use your platform, we want you to use your various strategies in ensuring that we raise awareness on mass vaccination. According to the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC. The most important thing people can do is to stop the virus at its source by completing their vaccine series as soon as possible and sustained adherence to all other proven preventive measures. People of the Fountain.